Hello, I'm Benson and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to do a update for my 3D printer, which I got recently. It's a Tanlog D3 Pro and it's right here. The reason why it's in the background at the moment is because I already done a kind of a demo video when I first got it unboxing. Without doing any modification, it managed to print a lot of um, sample print, which I'm quite happy about. For example, this little dragon is a two-tone, so you've got two different filament. It's not the best, but to be honest with you, the filament which came with the machine really sucked. I don't know if it's because of the moisture content or if they just use very cheap filament, but the, the result wasn't great and um, it's awful. And then after a few prints, we tweaked the setting and then I started to get more consistent results like this one. And this one was print from a mirror function. So, and this is why this uh, particular model is a bit more expensive than your normal printer. Then I get to have more time with the printer. I get to know the product and I put a Creality um, black glass on top and then the adhesion problem is solved. So now when I print PLA, then it's stuck to the glass properly. Thank you to some of the Facebook user tips. So what I did was I undone all four corners completely. So it loosened um, the bed and then I slowly adjust it back down so that it levels up. Because what I find is when, when the printer first came, it's almost level, but what happened is that you, you twist the corner unevenly and then it bend the, um, the print bed. And then the glass obviously will follow the bed because you, you clip it on. So um, by actually releveling the bed properly, it, it works. It works fantastically. So I got even cover for the whole surface. So uh, if it doesn't print perfect, that means that, you know, setup might be a problem or you got a faulty printer. The whole reason why I post this kind of video is to show you guys that, you know, the printer actually works. But, you know, on internet forums, a lot of people only search for the products because they have problems. And I'm here to kind of counterbalance it for, for some reason, because I do like the printer and I do think it's a great um, example of what it can do in 2020. Now, I choose this one to show you guys because this really showcases what the printer can do. So I have some leftover filaments from a, a few different wheels. So I thought, okay, you know what, let, what was the best way to use it all up? So I want to print something just as a test. So I got the first black here and then I let it run out. And then the sensor um, knows that there is no more filament and then it stopped the printer. So I went, I went to work and then I came back from work and then I refilled um, the filament with another kind of a half empty wheel or just leftover and they carry on printing from that level upwards and then it's still not enough to finish the print so I finish I put in the rest of the white filament which came with the machine and it keep printing so this is actually three different filaments on the same uh, print so I'm really really impressed with that and the tolerance level is quite good for example this lid you can actually click in without problems. So I think I managed to get the printer kind of um, horned in to the level that I wanted to do. And then I got some really, really cheap filament. So um, this one here um, from Amazon, um, I don't think even there's a brand um, with this. I think there is a name of the company. I'll put it in the description, but basically I think they just renamed it, whatever they want. But it is the cheapest one that I can find and it's one kilo not your half a kilo um, spoon. So I have that on the E1 and that's what printed this massive cryptic box. Um, I think it's DaVinci Code kind of influenced. I download the file from um, Think Universe. So I'll put the link in the description. I won't take credit for this. Please, you know, buy him a cup of tea or something if you do use the print. Um, this one is actually around 700 grams. So it's almost like finished this roll. Now I'm I am over kind of engineering you know the print. I choose like kind of a thick like um, I think two mil um, plastic wall. So this thing is really really solid and really really heavy. And this is going to be my money box. So I'm going to keep my money in in this one. The design is quite simple. Basically, you got a tube inside the tube. So this is so this is your storage space. Um, there we can see like a tube space and you have kind of like a tooth on top 
what you need to do is you need to have 10 different rings. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 10 rings there. They all need to align to their passcode in order for this tube to be slide out. If I take it out, just to show you guys what this print is about. So each of the ring has two parts. You've got an inner ring and the outer ring. And this is how you set your password. The top have a slot. The top here have a uh, slot, and that needs to align with the letters that you want it to be your password. For example, I set them all to A, just to show you guys. And then once you put this back into the out inner tube, outer tube, inner tube, I set them all to A at the moment. So if you look inside, there is a groove, and that allows this slot to attach to the inside all the way down as soon as any of this letter move the groove inside no longer complete and then this will get locked in place it's very very kind of a neat idea but for this to work your printer needs to print really precisely and this is why i love, love this printer each of these two parts takes about a day for me to print because I print it really, really slowly. I want a very, very low tolerance uh, between the parts. And it's a thick wall, so it, it takes a long time to print. And this one is 15.1, 15.2. So, and they all kind of within like a half a mil or even like quarter of a mil difference. So, you know, they, they, they are producing a very consistent print. And that's why I can make something like this out of the printer. I will put the setting on the screen right here. Here, there, <laughs> right here, there. Doesn't matter. So I'm going to put the my, my setting up here. So obviously the different filament, different room temperature, um, you might need to use something different. But if you want to use it as a base setting, that is what works for me. And it's not only like expensive filament. I use the cheapest filament and it still works. So... Um, the glass is about twenty pound um, on Amazon, so um, is one of the best investment that ever. I used to use like hairspray and glue stick; they do kind of work, but so messy. But with this black uh, glass, I can get away with not using uh, even the skirt or brim to uh, to make adhesion. So you just print directly on the bed, as long as you got a big surface area. For example, if you print something with a small surface area but very tall, I will suggest use a brim so to help with the adhesion. But if, for example, if a ring like this, you, you don't really need to um, have anything apart from just print directly onto the bed. So thank you very much for watching my video. If you find my information useful, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel to help me grow. Uh, I am an active user on Facebook. So if you find 10 log um, user group, you will find me on the official and the unofficial group. So uh, yeah, thank you very much and see you next time with more interesting gadget. Thank you.